What is going on, all you Pokemon Collective Maniacs out there? This is Ryan, the Pika Pika Papa, and I am so pumped. We are doing a freaking Fire Lizard Throwdown today. All right, now you guys know that I have been down the Charizard rabbit hole here for a couple weeks, and I did a video not long ago where we actually looked at a bunch of Charizard cards that have been coming down in price over the last 12 months. And in the Pokemon collecting and investing space, Charizard carries a lot of weight. So when we see that type of movement, we need to keep an eye on it. It might be a buying opportunity, it might not. But either way, it's noteworthy and we should be talking about it. We should be keeping it top of mind. And that's what we're doing. And while I was doing all of that research, I found a bunch of Charizard cards that are somewhat similar, but their price movement has been very different. So we're gonna look at 10 different cards. We're gonna look at their starting price at the beginning of the year. We're gonna just talk at their price right now. We're gonna look at the price movement. We're gonna look at their PSA 10 population, and the PSA 10 price. And we're gonna see a bunch of different scenarios. Some of them where we think maybe the single pro or the, the raw card is the way to go. Some of them where we think the PSA 10 card is the way to go. Either way, there's there is a ton of awesome information in this video and I can't wait to get it in front of you. With that being said, I got to do the selfless plug. Listen, we do fun stuff like this all the time. We're building an amazing community of Pokeheads here. So if this is the stuff that revs your engine, we'd love it if you became a member of the channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, drop them down below. So I can't wait any longer. Let's get into the cardboard right now. This first set right here, these are Sun and Moon Black Star promos. One's from 2017. This is from the Charizard GX box on the left. The one on the right is from the Fall Collector's Chest. So we'll start with the one from the Charizard GX box. It started off the year at $34.40. It's currently down to $25. So it has dropped 28%. Now it has a PSA 10 population of 811 and the PSA 10s are currently going for $500. Now when we look at the one in 2019 from the Fall Collector's Chest, it started off 12 months ago at $23 and it's basically flat. But what you see is it has gone down, hit a valley, and then come back up. Now the thing I wanted to call out about this one is look at that PSA 10 population. It has a PSA 10 pop of only 170 and it is going for $400. We're going to look at a lot of PSA 10 populations throughout this video. I'm telling you a PSA 10 pop lower than 200 is rare air. We're lower than 200 with a price tag of 400 is even rarer air. So maybe this is an example where the raw card on the left, that Charizard GX from that premium box, I think in a raw card that is the way to go. Look at the way the Sun and Moon promo on the right has performed. See how it went down and it came back up? Don't be shocked if this Charizard GX from the premium collection box does the same thing and bounces back up at some point. I think $25 is a very fair price for that one. Conversely, this one from the 2019 collector's chest in a PSA 10, I know $400 is a lot of money, but you're guaranteed a raw one. Again, it's from 2019. There will be some more added to that PSA 10 population, but not a ton. I think that is a great buying opportunity for a PSA 10 of this card. Now, this is a great example where we have two different cards and two different opportunities where we could see one better opportunity in raw and the other with a better opportunity in the graded department. So now let's look at the next set. This next set is really, really surprising to me. And this, to me, there is one clear cut winner, right? So this is the Risharam and Charizard GX secret from Unbroken Bonds, okay? Came out in 2019, had a starting price 12 months ago of $153. It's currently down 11% to almost $138 has a PSA 10 population of 1245 and a price tag of $300 for that PSA 10. Now, let's look at Champion's Path Charizard V Secret. This is, everybody loves this card and rightfully so. This is a beautiful piece of cardboard. 12 months ago, it was sitting at $163. Today, it is sitting at $186. It has gone up 14%. The thing that I really want to call out here is look at that PSA 10 population. 11,286 of these in PSA 10, yet it's going for $300. Now, when you look at these side by side, we know that Sun and Moon Rainbow Rares, Sun and Moon Tag Team, Sun and Moon Big Hitters have been going off like a rocket ship as of late. This one has performed totally different. You can get a much lower PSA 10 of a card that I feel like has a ton of upside for the same price as where you can get a PSA 10 of this Charizard V Secret from Champion's Path with a population of $11,286. For the Pika Pika Papa, to me, in this battle of heavyweights, I think the Unbroken Bonds Charizard GX Secret wins in the Raw, wins in the graded category, and I would not be surprised to see this one make a big upturn here in the future. All right. Next set, these cards look almost identical, right? So these are the Charizard GX tag teams from Sun and Moon, Cosmic Eclipse on the left, 
unbroken bonds on the right. What was interesting to me is their raw card prices, okay? So 12 months ago, the one on the left was sitting at $30. 12 months ago, the one on the right was sitting at $31.50. Pretty similar. But what we've seen is a very different price growth. Both of them have gone up. Both of them are green. But the Cosmic Eclipse variant is only up 5%, where the unbroken bonds variant is up 12%. What's interesting to me is Cosmic Eclipse has outperformed unbroken bonds as a set, hands down. Cosmic, everything in Cosmic Eclipse is red hot. Like you touch any card in that set, it has gone up into the right. Yet for whatever reason, this one hasn't. So then I thought, well, there must be some crazy PSA 10 populations, which is keeping this Cosmic Eclipse variant from just outperforming the Unbroken Bonds variant. But guess what? There are less PSA 10s of the Cosmic Eclipse one than there are of the Unbroken Bonds one, right? Cosmic Eclipse variant has 590 PSA 10s going for about $140. The Unbroken Bonds one has an 848 PSA 10 population going for the same $140. Again, Listen, you know I have a lot of faith in Unbroken Bonds. I think Unbroken Bonds is going to do really well over the next six to 12 months because I feel like a lot of the other Sun and Moon sets have been getting the love. But the fact that you can get this awesome Charizard from Cosmic Eclipse, which hasn't realized its full price growth yet, which the PSA 10 population is lower, the prices are about the same. If anything, it's cheaper for the Cosmic Eclipse variant. To me, ding, 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 the winner is on the left, this Charizard and Brexen GX Full Art from Cosmic Eclipse. Again, you can get it for $31.50 as compared to $35. It's only gone up 5%, lower PSA 10 population. I think this is the clear winner in this heavyweight bout. All right, our next set right here, this is the M Charizard EX from XY Evolutions. I've talked about this card before. Look at the choppy price point. Again, PSA 10 population here of 8,500. That is such a ridiculously large PSA 10 population for a 2016 set, right? And then you look at the price performance. Like, yes, it's down 9%, but it has been incredibly choppy. It's gone down, it's gone up. Now it is back cratering down from a single raw perspective. Is it gonna come back up? I don't know. And then on the right, you have this one from the XY promos in 2014. 12 months ago, this was at $16.25. It's currently at $24. It is up 48% over the last 12 months. Now I want you to look at that PSA 10 pop. PSA 10 pop of 140 and it's going for $325. In my mind, this is an example where the PSA 10 card has not caught up to the P to the raw to the raw price appreciation, okay? This is what I think in the Pika Pika Papa when I'm playing chess and when I'm trying to play chess and everybody else is playing checkers. This is where I think, hey, the market loves this card raw. Why is the PSA 10 price not higher if it's only a pop of 140? Now, Listen, I'm gonna tell you this much. If I have to pick between these two cards, both from a raw and from a graded perspective, the XY promo Black Star wins day in and day out. Now you might be saying that's crazy, it's already up 48%. I don't care, I don't let price growth be the determining factor. Yes, I look at cards that are undervalued, but just because a card has gone up into the right, doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. This card, I think, is still undervalued at $24. I think the PSA 10 with a pop of 140 is undervalued at 325. I think this one wins hands down in this competition and I am excited to buy a couple of these. Guaranteed I will have these in the mailbox soon. Now, this one right here, I decided to bring some heavy hitters out, right? I wanted to bring out some that are up near $300. And of course, this Charizard GX from Hidden Fates came out in 2019. Started off 12 months ago at almost $400, has come down 11% and it's sitting at about 350 bucks. What really leapt off the page at me as I was doing the research here is the PSA 10 population. 5,382 PSA 10s of these out there and it's going for a price of $710. Now think about some of these other Charizard PSA 10s where we've seen the population less than 200, right? And it's going for less than $500. This one has a population of 5,300. It's going for $700. I get it. It's a beautiful card. I get it. Hidden Fates is great. But for me, I think that price tag is a little heavy. Now we look at the M Charizard from Flashfire. Flashfire, from a sealed perspective, is just absolutely baddie from the XY area, right? Like, it is just going nuts. Now, the starting price on this 12 months ago was $181. It's currently at $283.70. It has gone up almost 60%. It's gone up about 58%. The PSA 10 population is 177. <laughs> and it's going for $2,000. How crazy is that? I'm gonna tell you right now, 2014, 
Raw card has been appreciating. For me, if I had to put my money into a raw card, I'm putting it into the M Charizard EX from Flashfire. I think that this card still has room to run. I know everybody's going to say, hey, this card's up 60%. How much more can it possibly grow? Well, the bottom line is I am investing and collecting for the long run. This isn't, some, isn't something I want to flip and turn in the short term. And I think this card from XY Flashfire is going to continue to grow. This is the big chase card from one of the big chase sets from the XY era. I don't see any more PSA 10 coming out. I mean, we'll have a couple that trickle in over the years, but I don't see this number appreciating much beyond 300 at most. In fact, that it's going for $2,000 in a PSA 10, everything about this gets me excited. Now, I don't have $2,000 to spend on a PSA 10, and even if I did, I would want to do it. I would want to spend that $2,000 in other ways, but I'm telling you right now, if you can get this card in good condition, even in a PSA 9, PSA 8 uh, raw type card for under $300, I think that is a great buying opportunity. So, with that being said, this was a ton of fun for me. I don't normally look at cards like this. I don't normally do this or that type of comparisons. But again, I've been doing so much Charizard research. I saw this and I wanted to bring it in front of you guys. And I hope you drop in the comments down below what you think about it. Again, sometimes a raw card is a better buy than a graded card and vice versa. And this is really important to look. Population reports, price trends, and all that good stuff. If you've made it to the end of the video and you haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, drop them down below. I respond to them all personally. Just know how much I appreciate you guys. I hope you all are having an epic week and I cannot wait to talk to you guys on Friday. Talk to you then. Have a good one.